Welcome back. In this video, our objectives are to define rigid and non-rigid transformations. In addition, we're going to give some samples of some rigid transformations, and we'll also do some samples of non-rigid transformations. So rigid transformations are transformations in which the basic shape of the graph of the parent function is unchanged. So things like horizontal shifts and vertical shifts and reflections. Now we did horizontal and vertical shifts in our previous video. So we, that we have seen, and those were examples of rigid transformations. What we didn't do in the last video was a reflection, and that is reflecting the graph over the x or y axis. So you can see here we have a couple different kinds of reflections. Uh, we'll do a, a sample here of a reflection, which is a rigid transformation of a parabola. So we're actually going to be doing two uh, transformations here. So we have the opposite of the quantity x minus 3 squared. So our graph in this particular sample is going to be shifted three units to the right, but also we're going to take the opposite of that. So this takes an, a parabola that's opening upward and now it opens down. So we're going to move our parabola the three units to the right. Now it's got the exact same shape, but instead of opening up, it's going to open down. And our parabola is going to look like that. So we opened down and we shifted three units to the right. So that negative sign, that opens down. And that would do the same thing for a square root function, uh, an absolute value function, and so forth. So an example of a reflection of a parabola. Here we have some non-rigid transformations. And non-rigid transformations are going to change the shape of our, our graph. So in our first sample here, 3x squared, now I've got our graph of x squared already here. But now with the 3, we're tripling every input. So our output is going to be 3 times as big. So with 1x squared, when we input 1, we output 1. But now when we input 1, we're going to multiply it by 3. So we won't normally do this, but right, 3 times 1 squared. So now instead of our output being 1, it is 3. So we're going to be up three times as high. So when we put in two, we'd normally have an output of four, but now we're going to have an output of 12. So we're going to be way up here. And the same thing is going to go for our, our negative one and negative two. So what this does to our graph of our parabola or whatever, it stretches our graph vertically. So we're going to go up three times as high, or five times as high. In sample B here, now we have a fraction that's less than one. It's one-third x squared. So now in, we're only going to go one-third as high. So when we input one, we're only going to output one-third, or negative one. Okay. When we input two, okay, we're going to output four-thirds. So that creates a flatter graph or a vertical shrink. So we've actually changed the shape of our parabola here. Okay? And it makes it a wider one. Couple different samples. Compare each with the graph of the function of f of x equals x squared plus three. So that is a three a shift of three units up the y-axis, and that's going to be in green. And we'll do sample A in red here. So we want to 
graph f of 3x. Okay, so we have to take 3x and put it in for x, and that gives us 9x squared plus 3. So we're still going to shift up three units, but now for every input, now we're going to be nine times as high. So that is going to be a narrowing or a horizontal shrink. I think we last called it a vertical stretch of our graph. And then we'll do something similar in sample B. Find f of 1 3rd x. So we have to put 1 3rd in for x. So 1 3rd x squared gives us 1 9th x squared. So now this is going to be much flatter or wider. Okay, so we have a much wider because we're now we're only going one ninth as high. So that's going to be a super flat parabola. Oh, that was not a very good line there. But you get the idea that we're only going up one ninth as high for every input of x. Now we didn't do any reflections here. We didn't make this a, you know, a negative or we would flip it down. Um, and make it go the other way, uh, that you will see more of those in the future. So a little summary of uh, rigid and non-rigid transformations. Remember a rigid transformation is a horizontal or vertical shift, keeping things the same shape, whereas a non-rigid is going to change the shape of our parabola. So we'll get some more practice with this when I see you in class.